Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. If you have a BMW, I'm talking any BMW with N20, N26 engine guys. That engine has been used in multiple BMWs and I will name some in a little bit. But if you're trying to measure your oil level on the, the, on the uh, screen inside and it gets stuck at about 15, 17%, we'll explain what two things can cause that. One of them is very hidden and we want to talk about it as we go guys. Now, another Another thing if you have that engine we will explain how we can probably save you guys between five and ten thousand dollars so make sure you stand till the end because there is a problem with certain years of that engine that can cost you five to ten thousand dollars before we start let me tell you if you need to buy, buy any parts tools check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price quick shipping as well guys also Every single car we get at the shop, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Specifically on this generation BMW, we will have close to 500 videos. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can, guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's explain now first, guys, okay, how we can save you five to ten thousand dollars if you have that engine. Okay, they're known for timing chain failures. Some of you say, okay, timing chain, it's like a lifetime thing. No, the timing chain guide, the plastic guide breaks on certain years. And this one failed at 71,000 miles, guys, 71,000 miles. And uh, broke one of the guides, not so bad. A few pieces were in the open, but another one practically exploded. You can see the pieces at 87 mi 87,000 miles. So. If you have that engine guys, we have a special video that explains which vehicles are affected and also how to remove and replace timing chain by yourself. So I'll put the link in the description of the video below, please check it out for your convenience. All that being said, why your BMW may not measure the oil level? First guys, it could be okay, a faulty oil level sensor. Okay, this one right there, you can see that sensor, it could be faulty. Ah, that's my camera, uh, check out the wires guys. Okay, the wire is going to it. Make sure it's not loose. Make sure you don't have dirt, dust. Clean the wires and reconnect the connector. Sometimes it could be too much stuck, stuff stuck in the level sensor and not work correctly. Now it could be something else as well. If you come right here, check it out, guys. Under the engine mount bracket, you have that uh, that uh, uh, valve. It's known as oil pressure valve. What this valve does? It actually guides controls the oil pump how much pressure to build so it can make the engine more economical. If you don't need so much oil pressure, okay, what it does, it actually releases it so the pump doesn't have so much pressure on it, okay, and it's not consuming so much energy, which results into better fuel economy. But when you measure the oil level, that valve actually will, um, will guys, uh, put the pump in certain position and if it's not working correctly it may get stuck between 15 and 17 percent i've seen that happen quite often because of that valve so uh, it could be guys any of these two things that usually cause a problem of course you may have a different uh, different thing causing the problem but most of the times that we have that problem we solve it by replacing the oil the oil level sensor on the bottom or this valve right here so Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.